back on our FanDuel desk, Steve Weissman, alongside the champion, Belinda Bendich. Congratulations. Getting through in three sets today. You've got the trophy with you here. How were you able to get through this match? Yeah, thank you so much. It was re a real battle, you know. At some point, I really didn't know what to do anymore against Ons. I thought she was, you know, after in the second set and in the third set, playing incredible and just really pushing me hard. And um, I just tried to fight, stay in there, you know, stay calm. Um, and I'm really happy I, I pulled it out for the first time on, on the clay. And uh, yeah, I'm just super happy. I don't have the words yet. I'm just so relieved it's over and I'm really tired. So I just need to rest. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. You've been winning a lot of matches lately. Uh, you yes. win nine of your last 10 matches. You did so well in Miami. Bring that into here. What's led to this great run? Um, yeah, just a lot of good practice, you know, as I said, I, I've struggled, I was struggling at the start of the season, but then, you know, I was better, I, I went to the mountains to recharge, reset a little bit, and then we had some great time in Indian Wells, you know, not much was working for me, but, you know, we kept working and, and trying every day, and then I felt like things were clicking together, and then finally, also in the matches, so I think I just broke this kind of momentum and, and just started the ball rolling again <laughs> yeah and, and we'll, we'll just keep it rolling here listen uh this was your first clay court final you had talked about 2014 17 year old making the semifinals here didn't know if you'd be able to get back now you're one and oh in clay court finals you, you've doubled your top 10 wins on clay in your career what do you think now <laughs> yes um i mean you know it's it's really emotional for me because this was uh, my first semi-finals and i think i broke to the top 100 the first time here so this tournament has really an emotional feeling for me and every time i come back here i have these great memories and the, of course you know in this situation you feel like oh i'm the first time on the big tournament like what if i will never you know get back and anything so when you are like 16 17 you have these kind of thoughts but then of course you know the people around you they tell you keep working hard and you will have more and more chances and I'm so happy I could turn it around and really like put myself here among all these past champions and it means a lot to me really it is such a special year here because it's the 50th anniversary they say that's the golden anniversary so it's so fitting to have you the golden girl the reigning gold <laughs> medalist win on the golden anniversary to have your name amongst those champions like the Williams, like Chrissy, like Martina, like Steffi, like Martina Hingis as well. You're the first Swiss champion since Martina Hingis. <laughs> Her mom was your coach. What does that mean to you and what goes through your mind when you think about that? Yeah, I mean, it means so much, you know, Martina Hingis, of course, she was my idol and I was watching her growing up and then she was, you know, hitting with me. Uh, her mom was coaching me, was teaching me all the things and I'm so super grateful to them because, um, you know, I wouldn't be here without them. And of course, it feels amazing, you know, when she wins, you know, all of the tournaments and then I can, you know, try and do the same thing. I, I never thought this would be possible. So I'm, I'm super grateful to be even, you know, really mentioned like, like this with her and uh, I hope I made them proud. So when you won the gold medal, you got the tattoo of the Olympic rings. Are we going to get a tattoo of the palmetto tree now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, um, I hope. I mean, if I would put all the titles on, on the tattoo. Um, okay, it's not too many, but still. Um, but it's definitely here in my heart, so I'm, I'm very happy. Well, congratulations. <laughs> it's been a pleasure talking to you throughout this entire week. Your 2022 Credit One Charleston Open champion, Belinda Bencic. Thank you.